Hey everyone. This week in news, Olivia Georges spoke to a Carleton prof who is crowdfunding for a summer class that will bring students to the north. And Lauren Hicks will be breaking the news on the results of the CUSA Student Union Building Referendum on Thursday morning. All that and more, This Week in News. This Week in National, Christian Middlestadt reported on upcoming changes to OSAP and how some groups are criticizing it. And Sam Lee looked at a self-driving car project at the University of Waterloo. That is This Week in National. Hey Ravens, this week in sports, Liam Fox recapped the men's hockey team splitting back-to-back -back games for the seventh time in the first half of the season. And Ryan Curley recapped both the men's and the women's basketball home openers. All that and more this week in sports. Hey everyone, this week in arts, Karen Luce Season went to an Indigenous storytelling night on campus, and Megan Richens looked at why the documentary The Red Pill is causing controversy. All that and more this week in arts. This week in features, Muguli Samba looked at the issue of women's only gym hours at Carleton and other universities. All that and more this week in features. This week in op -ed, Austin Stanton says students need to pay more attention to provincial politics and Tori McNeely provides DIY gift ideas. All that and more this week in op -ed. This week in multimedia, there's an infographic in the national section and check out the Charlatan staff trying different holiday crafts. All that and more this week in the Charlatan.